Mr. Toastmaster. Fellow Toastmasters and most welcome guests, my speech tonight, I am Jack. It's a complicated world that I live in. My name is not Jack, nor is my middle name, but I consider myself a jack of all trades. And I've been, have, I've been lucky enough to grow up with many experiences in my life and my career, but I just can't seem to pick one thing. I can't pick a career, I can't pick a job, I can't pick a sport, a passion, or a girlfriend for that matter. <laughs> I was born into Generation X in the final year, but through and through I'm a Generation Y poster child. And you guys can let me know at the end if you agree. I grew up the youngest of three in a lower mainland suburb. I studied health informatics at the University of Victoria. I did co-ops in the UK, Australia, all in health informatics. And when I came back, I got a job in what I knew, and that was health informatics, just specializing in disease classification. Very boring work. It wasn't for me at all, but paid the bills. I was introduced to flying at a young age. My grandfather, a real role model for me, uh, he was a brilliant man of many, uh, many talents. Most notably, uh, he was an entrepreneur and a surgeon. Over the course of my childhood and in, into adulthood, him and I flew all over North America, all over Canada, all over the States, many corners of the world. Well, this world that we live in, I guess. Um, I always entertained the idea of being a pilot, but I didn't I wasn't sure what I was doing and, you know, change in life and whatnot. So I quit my job. I wasn't happy doing the IT, living in the cubicle job. So I quit my job and uh, got my commercial pilot's license. And I moved out to Ontario, where I found a job in a little town two hours northwest of Thunder Bay called Atacokan, population 600. <laughs> and I started on the, on the, at the bottom, on the ramp, as a dock hand or dock bitch or rampy or swamper. <laughs> as they call it, and I was pretty much, I did everything they told me to, loading, unloading, fueling, dispatching, you name it, I did it. Over the course of three years, I went from the bottom and I worked my way up to operations manager of a million dollar charter seaplane company. I did a lot of work for them, not just flying, but other things as well. We flew everything, people of course, but cargo, explosive cargo, like fuel, propane, diesel, stoves, fridges, canoes, plywood, you name it, we flew it. One memorable trip, we flew eight guys into a fishing camp. They were going for a week. Eight guys, they ordered 24 beers per day, per guy, for seven days. That's 56 flats of beer we, we flew in. 1,400 pounds of beer, lots of beer. Wow. <laughs> After leaving Ontario. <laughs> yeah, wow. Well, that's real, that's real man's fishing, yeah. After leaving Ontario, I came back to the coast, and I've been flying on the coast for the last year and a half. I've got several thousand hours experience, many endorsements and ratings, and I just don't feel like I've developed as a professional in the aviation industry. Not to mention, I don't make very much. I only work six months a year, and some days I have to fly to Nanaimo 10 times, which I don't know about you guys, but it gets a little old. So where does that leave me? The next step in my life. I'm an entrepreneur at heart. I've almost started an import and distribution company. I've almost started a salad dressing company. I've almost started an aviation consulting company. I've wrote business plans. I've even managed to secure a little bit of money along the way. Haven't actually pulled the trigger, whether it's risk or whatnot, I'm not sure. But more recently, I've been working on a project involving online payment processing uh, for residential and commercial properties. It's a complicated first project, but uh, I think it's got a lot of potential. And I'm pretty excited, so stay tuned. Other than that, I recently became a certified project manager and I'm working on my real estate license. As I phase out aviation, I'm hoping to phase in, not necessarily real estate, but getting involved in the brokerage of business. So buying and selling, merger, mergers and acquisitions for small or medium to small, small to medium sized businesses. And hopefully at one point I'll be competent in that in that process. So if you guys want to sell your business, you know, let me know. <laughs> other than that, <laughs> other than that, I make a lot of things, a few other things a priority in my life. He being healthy, as Roger was saying, and traveling. I've seen the world. I've seen, I've been to Australia six times, New Zealand, Fiji, Mauritius, South Africa, the UK, Europe, Mexico, the States many times. Love to travel. And as Roger was saying, you learn a lot of things when you travel. I think it's some of the best education. 
and that I love to surf and cycle and and uh, ski and play squash and I love to drink beer. I know it's not a sport, but I do love to do it. <laughs> Yeah, how quickly you drink. Yes, sculling. I've heard that. So, what else do they do in New Zealand? So, there you go. My experiences span many sectors. I've studied, I've traveled, I've lived abroad, I've worked for nothing to follow a dream. I love a challenge, I love to learn. I get bored easy. There's uh, <laughs> Gen Y coming out in full force. But in this pursuit of finding a business or, or an opportunity, a challenge, something that really grabs hold of me is, uh, you know, it tends to shift my life upside down and I have a lot of uncertainty and, and but I think well, in, the, in the whole and in the long run it's good and it's, it's going to make me smarter. And as Stephen Hawking once said, intelligence is the abil ability to adapt to change. I am Jack and I'm ready for change. Got that. Mr. Postman, let us stand here and enjoy your crowd.